While emergency officials in our area are preparing for possible sinkhole scenarios, there's another sinkhole in Florida. This sinkhole opened up near a home in Palm Harbor, west of Tampa, near the Gulf Coast, today. It's different from the one east of Tampa last week. This time it was not right underneath a home. Although there was a home nearby, it was evacuated, but only for a few hours. That earlier sinkhole, about 40 miles to the east in Sefner, swallowed 37-year-old Jeff Bush, who was in his bed at the time. It destroyed the home. That sinkhole is about 20 feet wide and now more than 50 feet deep. Geologists and meteorologists say the rainy season in Florida has begun, a season they also call the sinkhole season. Now, sinkholes are much more common in states like Florida, but they are still on the mind of the fire department officials in Oshkosh, in our area. Fox 11's Chad Doran takes a closer look at some training that was going on there today. We move it to the point where it just starts to move and we'll hold it in place. We're not trying to put it back with the Emergency crews practice for a scenario not often seen in our area. The events are pretty rare. It's one of those unique situations where it's uh, low frequency but high hazard. In fact, it's been more than a year since the Oshkosh Fire Department has had to keep a building from collapsing. The last thing we had that we actually had to shore up a building was due to a motor vehicle accident. The, uh, the tractor trailer rig actually took a corner too much, too soon, and actually knocked the corner of a, of a building out. This trailer contains all of the equipment and supplies firefighters need in an emergency, and the training for this rare type of event helps them be ready when it counts the most. The recent sinkholes in Florida just happen to coincide with the training these firefighters are going through, but it serves as a practical example of the different types of events this training is meant to prepare them for. So it actually is pretty good timing. We did talk about that unique situation in the classroom a little bit, not something we really see a lot of, although there's hazards in the state for it. Highly specialized training for a particularly dangerous type of rescue. In Oshkosh, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. The department is conducting the training for all firefighters this week.